go. We don't got no key though. Where's the keys? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go for the ride. All right, guys, so we're out here and uh, we got the leaf trailer put back together. It's taken us kind of two partial days to get this put back together. We tear the walls off of it, tear the billy goat off of it, tarp, and then our new addition here, which is our lights when we get to the other side. I'll show you those, but ran some wiring from the battery up in the front through the frame out the side here need a little extra because when that pivots i don't want it to be super tight so hopefully that doesn't get caught on anything we're going to give this a trial by fire run this fall and uh, the reason why we put lights on was because we were running into some issues last season where it was getting dark we were sucking up piles you know six o'clock here it's it's pretty much black um, come another couple weeks. It's five o'clock right now and the sun's hitting the tree line here. So it's getting close. You want to go for a ride, don't you? <laughs> it's too cold for that. It's been really cold here. It's, uh, what is it? October 18th, I believe. Mm -hmm. And, uh, this morning it was 19 degrees guys. So very cold. Leaves are going to start dropping. Um, I'm still missing, um, one support here up the side. Got to run this one up, but I'll be able to sneak it up and through. So we got to get that one in. But otherwise, this thing is ready for leaps. Oh, the other side is missing too. But got a new tarp on there. Let's go around and check out those lights. <laughs> this is a 2020 seven by 14 SureTrack dump trailer. It's got the dual ram lift system underneath here. I'll show that to you guys in a sec. Now over here we have the cool new LED light bars we got um, put on the side here so that way um, passenger side curb you pull up to a curb and uh, you'll see the billy goat in a sec you can work that billy goat right off the side. Um, I typically am driving inside the truck. My wife Kettler who's holding the camera is typically running the billy goat or her brother Avery. They'll work that off the back side of the truck here. So I figured if I put some lights off the side, I can see my leaf pile that I'm coming into right down the pipe here. Got a, got a light switch on here, hoping to find a little more permanent solution to this, but it's all ran up to a relay in the top. Kind of nice. You can see down the side of the trailer good. And then we got our big one mounted off the back. Can't remember we ordered this light kit off of Amazon. I think it was only like $60 or something. So hopefully oh, it'll come God. in handy this fall. And then this is our 18 horse Billy Goat debris loader. And uh, it just shoots through this opening in the back door here, blows it into the dump trailer. Uh, this setup has been bulletproof. The only thing that's new to it uh, this e year e is guy. the lights. E e guy. What's she doing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I do want to mention, guys, that we ran this. So I welded these two like receivers on the back door of the dump trailer here. There's one on each side. There's a bolt through, and then there's this support bracket, which I also welded a little deal right in here, so you can bolt it. Little another little mounting bracket. So that's really worked out slick. So I literally just pulled this, this whole frame just drops right away to undo these four bolts. It slips out onto a pallet. I palleted it and tarped it. So that was super slick. And then we literally just tipped the dump trailer up like this. So it's slanted back. I can grab onto the billy goat, tilt it, and then you can basically back that trailer. These two, deals right into the receiver. So it's it's kind of hard to explain sitting here, but it's super simple and it's uh, really worked out well. That way you don't need like a skid steer or something. You just use the tilt of the dump trailer to actually lift that right in there. So kind of nice, kind of difficult to explain, like I said, but this is kind of janky hoping to do something with this, but for now it's gonna have to work. I'm gonna have to find a little bracket or something to hold that switch. 
but looking looking forward to seeing how the lights work this year well I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video lots of you guys have seen this before but I just always like to share it going into the spring and fall season when uh, cleanups are starting really looking forward to getting going here um, we have a couple uh, three BR 800 backpack blowers that we use for cleanups and then we try to blow most of them to the curb and then just suck it up with the billy goat but I do like to typically run over the yard when I'm done or I'm doing it while the other two are blowing out so uh, we run over it with the triple bagger on the back of the Z Master 5000 series here works awesome the easy back but yeah this year um, I'm gonna be pulling the mowers with the ram and then the Chevy will be pulling the dump trailer so that's how that's gonna go um, I just didn't want the the Ram has a cold air intake in it and I'm not sure how it'll affect it or not but we get a lot of leaf dust that gets sucked into the under the hood actually so I don't want the leaf debris going into the cold air intake and causing issues in the Ram this truck just has the regular air box so that should be the better option for us but that's about it guys we have the toro grandstand might throw the grandstand on and the the basket catcher from ballard the ballard catch pro there it is we're gonna head inside guys thank you so much for watching god bless we'll see you guys on the next one be sure to like comment and subscribe if you would and yeah we'll see you guys on the next one god bless